Hi Aries, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. So I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you have the justice card, right? So this week, Aries, I'm going to be really honest with you. It does feel like your commitments are going to be tested. Um, now, when, what I mean by this is maybe not necessarily in terms of a relationship, something that you've already put your name to, something that you've already maybe volunteered yourself for. This is one of those moments where you're not going to have the opportunity to back out. So this week, something that you have committed to, something that you maybe signed for, something that you've you know promised to be there on with for or through. Um, somebody's coming to collect this week. So whatever it is that you've put yourself out there for, whatever it is in some way that you've extended yourself this week, it's like the the piper comes to collect, right? Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think if anything, this is a chance for you to demonstrate your loyalty. Um, in another way, it's also a chance for you to dedicate yourself in a way that people aren't necessarily, like, you're very committed when it comes to doing things, you know, that you want to do, that you feel pushed or urged from the inside to do. Um, your sign, and I say this out of all love and respect, it's not really known for its staying power. Um, you know, sometimes Aries can be the first person to break team, right? Can be the first person to break a promise, etc. Um, so this week, it kind of feels like there's something that you've already said that you were going to do. And this week, you are going to be expected to come through. And I have to say, just because obviously Mars is in the sign of Scorpio, so it's at home there. Mars does good work in the sign of Scorpio. And Mars is your ruling planet. Um, I get this sense that you're going to want or need to be seen as a person of integrity. So it's kind of like, even if you don't necessarily want to do this thing, or you feel kind of like, oh gosh, you know what, I wish I'd said no. It's like you're going to go through the motions anyway. And this is a chance for you to demonstrate some sort of staying power. So I would give yourself some props for that. All right. Now, that being said, if you haven't got them yet, your 2022 uh, readings are up and out there for your purchasing pleasure. You can get yours on the link in the description box below or one of those little floaty things up above my head. For your actions and options with the world at large, you've got the Sun card. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. This actually is a really good thing. So in a lot of ways, this suggests that there is a, there's a, this could be a very joyous week for you. It also suggests that maybe this commitment that you're expected to fulfill this week, maybe you go above and beyond. And the way that you're received, the way that people kind of um, take you on board, the way that you appear to people, uh, you know, yours could be the, the most joyous uh, face or words in the room. So allow yourself to shine this week. But more importantly, allow yourself to bring the substance, right? This is a week where you could be demonstrating to people, this is what you don't know about me. You know, you know, you know everybody knows you as that fun, vibrant, dynamic self, but they don't necessarily know that part of you that really um, comes through, right? So this could be really nice for you, actually. For your communications and conversations, you have the Six of Cups. This is really nice. So um, for those of you that have them, siblings may feature for you over the course of this week. There can be some very interesting, very in-depth conversations that are going on with a sibling. Um, I will say as well, because it is the Six of Cups, this, remember this is a card, fa uh, um, a past facing card. And because it's underneath the, um, the Justice card, this really does, like this week, I just can't stress it enough. You're gonna be held accountable for something or you're gonna to have to show up in a way that you've promised to show up previously. It may be sprung on you, so maybe this is that moment where it comes up and you're like, wow, do you know what? I completely spaced on that. Um, you have the energy, right? You've got the passion, you've got the desire, you've got the vigor. So this week, whatever it is that you're called upon to fulfill, I would do so. 
do it with a smile on your face and I promise you the results and the rewards will be absolutely amazing. With that, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be new duties. So maybe you had asked a boss for more responsibility. Maybe you'd asked for a pay rise and they said, look, we can't give you a pay rise until we change your title or until, and you know, in order to do that, you're gonna have to do more work. Well, maybe this week the employer comes to you and says, look, you know what? You wanted more money and this is the way that we're gonna get there. We're changing your duties. We're giving you more work. We're giving you more of everything, right? So this could be where you're getting what you asked for and this is gonna be that time where you have to show up for it. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this could be a past commitment to a client. It could be a maybe for some of you, you're signing a new contract with somebody from the past. So maybe you had plans to work with a specific client. Maybe you had plans to bring a specific client in. It didn't go through. Maybe it fell through. Maybe it wasn't the time, etc. Well, this time it goes ahead. And it's like this time, not only is it making you happy, but this time you have a chance to really demonstrate why they made the right choice, um, you know, the, this time round. Uh, maybe not necessarily the first time if they said no. For those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, this is a time really to dedicate to your social connections, to your interpersonal connections. And I do feel like you will be called upon by those people this week. So this could be friends, it could be old colleagues, it could be uh, somebody that just wants your opinion. You know, one thing that I say about Aries, you guys are actually very wise in a lot of ways. Sometimes that blunt approach to things really is the right one. For your love and relations, you have the star card. Look at this, right? So you've got the star card right underneath the sun card. That is a very specific combination that represents astrology. So this week, I would advise you, if you have uh, something important that you want to do, if you have something important that you are hoping to set into motion, especially if it's got something to do with a partnership, a relationship, and possibly for some of you uh, a change of location, this would be a fantastic week to either book or have an astrological reading of some kind. Um, you'd probably get more out of it at the moment than you would at any other time, so I would go for it if I were you. Now, with that said, for those of you that are single, this could be a great week for internet dating. I have to say, with this Six of Cups in the, the communications, I almost get this sense that you're reconnecting with a past partner, reconnecting with a past love, reconnecting with somebody that maybe just, you know, maybe they were the one that got away. Maybe you were the one that got away, but there's a reconnection here somewhere. And this time it could go all the way. For those of you that are partnered, married, in long-term commitments, there's a similar energy here, but it, this is about you really getting back to what you need in order to feel like your partner is truly in the relationship with you and what your partner needs from you in order for them to feel that same energy from you. I actually really like this because in a lot of ways, it brings a lot of hope, optimism, and joy and happiness to the relationship and you yourself are smiling. So really, really nice. And then finally, for your money and materials, you've got the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is underneath the Six of Cups, is being aspected by the Justice card and the Love and Relations. I actually feel that this is, so for some of you, this could be the release or the paying off of a debt. This could be, for some of you, a very, very select, select few of you, maybe this is a debt is forgiven. Um, for a lot of you though, I kind of feel like this is an opportunity that was once on the table for money to come your way, is now being reviewed or being revised in some way. So this kind of feels like, in some way, shape or form, some sort of boost to the finances is coming to you. Um, you may have to jump through a couple of hoops for it. I mean, we talked about this in terms of the work sector. Maybe it's gonna come with extra responsibilities. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, I mean, so you can't really see that there, can you? Uh, I'll have to adjust that in a moment. One of the things that I will say for health, the Three of Swords is going to be your um, uh, your kidneys, your liver, 
um, a part of your liver certainly, um, that sort of whole general aspect of self. So look after yourself this week on the internal level. And then when it comes to your home and environment, the Three of Swords does suggest that there might be a clear out or a clean out that's happening this week um, that actually could be very beneficial for you moving forward. For your new moon message, you have the Gate 37 and Sweetness. It's through your connections this week, through your family, through your friends, through your peers, that life really improves. This card isn't just about the sweetness of life. It's also about the sweetness that life has to offer through the connections that we have. This week, your interpersonal connections are gonna be everything, right? So whether they're past, present, or ones that are coming in this week in terms of the future, it's all about the connections this week and the people that you, this is one of those weeks where it really is, it's not who, what you know, it really is about who you know, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.